Hey, I'm down here at the pool with Sam from Great Ocean Wetsuits. Today we're going to test how much faster are you actually with a wetsuit. And then we're going to see how fast you can swim if you combine a wetsuit with drafting on the feet. So the test we're doing today is three 200s. We're going to go 200 without the wetsuit, 200 with the wetsuit, and then 200. I'm going to be drafting on Sam's feet. He's going to push the pace and I'm going to see how fast I can go for a 200 with a wetsuit and drafting at the same time. What are we up to now? All right, up to the 200 wetsuit test. I don't know how much you got left in me after that, but we'll see. Let's rock. Let's do it. With the first two tests, we can see that I was swimming four seconds faster per 100 with the wetsuit, which is a total of 6% quicker per 100. So if you're a 130 swimmer, that would equate to around five and a half seconds quicker per 100. And if you're around the two minute mark per 100, that's an average of about seven seconds quicker per 100. Now, why are wetsuits actually faster? Well, there's a number of reasons. Number one, obviously the buoyancy is a big factor. Neoprene's very buoyant. And if you have something like the gold version of the Great Ocean Wetsuit that I was wearing, it's got aerated neoprene. It's got bubbles through there, strategically placed through the hips, through the chest and through the legs to help bring your hips and legs up to sit in a more horizontal position. They also reduce the surface drag, the friction between your skin and the water itself. And on the forearms where you want to have that friction to help you grip the water better, they've got certain material there that will help increase that friction, which will help increase your hold on the water. And finally, it also helps increase the stability and tautness through the middle of your body. One of the things we don't wanna do when we swim is wriggle around through our hips and our core too much. If we can keep that together and keep that taut, then you're going to have much better connection through the stroke. And because of the compression of a wetsuit, it can help keep your hips much more stable and have that tautness that's required for a great stroke. Now for the final test of the day, wetsuit and drafting. Three 200s, the first one without a wetsuit, 212. 205 with the wetsuit on, so got three and a half seconds quicker. And then drafting behind Sam here, I managed to get 201. If I didn't have to move out of the way for the turns when I was drafting, I feel like I might have been able to get under two minutes. Uh, but there you go, it's a big improvement with the wetsuit. Got that extra buoyancy, uh, it's felt a lot easier. And then drafting behind Sam, even more so. And uh, I started to feel the fatigue towards the end there. So uh, that, that didn't help either. But uh, lesson learned, wear a wetsuit, draft if you can, and find someone as fast as sound to draft behind as well. And if you wanna get yourself a great ocean wetsuit, go to the link in the description below. We've got a special offer for a limited time for our YouTube viewers. Check it out below.